Hi, I'm here with Rosemary McCormick with Shop America. How you doing? I'm doing great. Good to see you again. Isn't thank you. Yes, yeah, thank you, Yeah, we Charles. were in Orlando last oh, it's year. fun. Yeah. And you were teaching me all about Shop America. It's, um, we all know about shopping malls and shopping. Shopping is one of the large, well, it is the largest reason Number why <laughs> people travel. That's right. Leisure travel. That's right. and, and yet it is not part of the kind of packaging, it's not a product that people package. Well, Tell now us about it, it is. Now yeah. it is. As a matter of fact, Shop America Tours, which I represent, packages 126 tours now that you can buy as a, a wholesaler or travel agent and earn a commission on selling. So it's wow. a very lucrative thing to sell because everybody likes to shop. And we sell packages like Shop and Dine, Shop and Play, Shop and Shuttle, Shop and Spa. Shop and Golf. We sell Shop and Golf, Shop and Ski. We sell them in um, 23 major cities throughout the United States. And you can buy them all online at shopamericatours.com. It's pretty easy. Give me an example of what would be in the shopping component. Let's say here we are in Anaheim. Of course, we have Costa Mesa, the, the, the big, gigantic, what is that shopping mall called? Oh, South Coast, Coast Plaza. South Coast Plaza. Oh, isn't that a wonderful now place? Now, how do you package shopping? Tell uh, Well, you know what? In this area, our most popular one, and even Expedia sells it, is Beverly Center in L.A. Let me tell you about that one. And they sell our package there called Shop and Dine. And you have a wonderful dining experience at the Grand Lux Cafe. You have shopping discounts. You have a VIP shopping experience. You're greeted as a VIP. You're given a special tote bag through all these good oh. gifts and goods and um, Macy's discounts and all kinds of other things plus a, a lunch included and they even have a martini making lesson included. You are greeted. You mean John I, and Mary Doe from wherever they're coming from if they're well, part of the package, are greeted? You're greeted at the concierge center, uh -huh. and it's like, oh, hello, John and Mary. Oh, I see you bought our special shop and dine package. Here's, and it's really very personable. Absolutely. It's a much better thing to sell than just say, here's your coupons, go shopping, you know. Uh, pick another one or two cities. Well, our best sellers in Las Vegas is called Shop and Shuttle. In that package, you get on a shuttle bus on the strip. It goes 12 times a day out to the fashion outlets. Um, which is in Prim. It's a 45-minute ride each way. This package retails for $20. So the shuttle itself saves you so much money over a taxi. You can imagine that would be a lot more. Plus you get the VIP greeting, the coupon book, the savings. You get a cookie shopping break and a special gift from the shopping center and a tote bag. So that's a really nice deal. And um, now one thing that I'm beginning to hear a little bit is there's, there seems to be a little bit of movement towards foreign visitors come to U.S. for cultural heritage and things like that. Oh, thanks for bringing that up. We're very big in that area. We just launched with the state of California a new division of Shop America Tours that we call Hats, Bags, and Eats. And not because I wear hats either. That's not the reason. Uh, hats is an acronym for History, Arts, Tours, and Shopping. Bags is Botanical Arts, Gardens, and Shopping. And Eats is Epicurean Arts, Tours, and Shopping. They're like foodie tours, you know? And basically, we have packaged like at Beverly Center and the Getty Center, have a wonderful experience. Or in San Francisco, a tour of the Ferry Building where all of the chefs shop, uh, Bodie Bakery factory tour and tasting, uh, chocolate tour and tasting, and then a Macy's shopping spree as part of it. These are great packages. Again, they're commissionable, and they combine the two things that are most important, shopping and cultural heritage tourism. And now, there's a lot of uh, arts and crafts items and food items that are produced locally right, in, any, in many parts of our country. Uh, to what extent are those at the moment or maybe in the future will be uh, highlighted and featured? You know, one way we're featuring that, that's another really good question, is we have a, a new partner, the Museum Store Association. There are 1,600 museum stores in the United States that are part of the Museum Store Association. And what we do is we are showcasing those stores as a place where you do have a unique sense of place. It's very different from shopping at Macy's or at South Coast Plaza or at a shopping mall. You're seeing things that are indigenous to the region, that are crafts, that are very special. And people love that. You wouldn't believe the response we've had from international buyers to that unique type of shop. It's very good. Uh, tell our audience a little bit about what, uh, who are the people or companies behind Shop America. 
We have 200 members throughout the United States, well, plus the 1,600 museum stores, so, you know, that adds a lot more. We're a travel trade organization that represents shopping and dining as the top tourism activities in America. We've been in business for 10 years, and our Shop America tours have been around for three years now, and so that's what we do. We mark the shopping tours, we publish a magazine, Shop America, and we... Um, do an annual meeting, that sort of thing. You can't have a better brand name, huh? Shop America. That's what we do. Thank you. And now, there are, I believe, like two, three companies that own just dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, of malls That's around true. America each. They're the big guys. They're yeah. the big guys. What are their names of the top two? Well, um, General Growth Properties is one of the ones that we represent. They're number two. They. Um, they're right over here. You yeah, know, they we'll, we'll visit them, yeah. They're, they're fabulous. They own, like, Alamoana Center is probably their largest shopping center. Fashion show, some of the more prominent centers. Number one is a company called Simon. They have the form shops at Caesars, one of our members, and all of the Chelsea premium outlets, they're owned by Simon also. How many also. total, like, the Simon's own? Uh, about 250, 260. 250. Uh, I would say it's the biggest. And general growth properties? About 225. That's a lot of A lot shopping. of malls. Well, a lot of retail. Those are the biggest two. And they're, and they're a member oh, of Shop America. Shop America. So right. obviously very, and I know uh, the, the owner or founder of one of them is very active in this whole um, heritage aspect of, of, of packing that with shopping. In there, or, or? Um, I'm not sure exactly who Which you're referring one? Yeah, to. Yeah, something I thought I read last year. There's a lot year, of yeah. people involved. Well, even like... Um, Companies like the Tobin Company, that they only own, oh, I say only, 23 shopping centers, but they are so successful, these shopping centers, that they generate so much volume that you have to look at the overall volume, too. And he's very active in tourism. He serves on the National Tourism Advisory Committee, Bobby Tobman does, in Washington. I so he's very tight with person. TIA, very influential gentleman, has helped us a lot. Can you help us with some metrics, some numbers about the growth of? shopping in America as a product that the industry abroad are packaging or buying? Well, you know, Charles, I opened Mall of America. You may have heard of it. It's the largest shopping yes. center in the United States. And that's how I learned that in a state with only 4.3 million residents, you could bring 40 million Minneapolis, people. Minneapolis, St. Yeah, Paul area. Minnesota. Right? Minnesota. You could bring 40 million people a year in, and they've, they've successfully done that. I launched that program, and they continue to do that. But at that time, people would say, shopping, travel, what's the deal here? Since then, and that goes back to 92, we've really been able to get people to understand that shopping is a tourism activity and that if you promote it, South Coast Plaza that you referenced earlier, they do $1.5 billion in business and a third of it is tourism. Years ago they used to do a much lesser business and 2% of it is tourism. So look at the growth. How do they measure tourism? Like, How do they figure that they one do, third of it is They do research tourism. and they track people that, that come from 100 miles or more as a tourist or has right. an overnight stay. And um, they do a variety of studies. Some people do intercepts. Some people rely on um, data from credit card transactions. So there's a variety of ways to track it. That's great. Thank you so much, Rosemary.